death. Our cities across the Midwest are scrambling to protect people from this deadly polar vortex that this, is blasting. These are dangerous wind chills that yeah. we're talking about. Painfully. As we head into. So basically, it's about 50 degrees below. In Grand Rapids, Rapids, Michigan, a chain reaction of crashes involving at least two dozen vehicles. So February 1st, uh, coming in from Grand Rapids, lots of ice, lots of snow, treacherous drive. Uh, did not know how many of my patients were going to be able to make it in due to the roads and the transportation. Put all our stuff on and got in the car, um, and it was still really cold. Our heater was not keeping up with the weather at all. But Edith needed her vaccines. She was premature, so um, it was definitely important to us that we make it in to get them. When we experienced a power outage, uh, our big concern is our immunizations, and that's over $10,000 of immunizations, depending on what's in the refrigerator at the time. But since uh, we were get, provided with the generator from the Cherry Health Foundation, um, we no longer have to do that. We are assured we have a steady supply of vaccines and we don't have to worry about whether our vaccines are safe or are in proper storage. Prior to having the generator, we would have had to turn Edith and Tony away. Uh, because we would not have uh, an assured vaccine supply. So all around this has definitely enhanced uh, health care here at uh, Cherry Health Mount Home. I mean, I can't even stress the importance it is to me for her to get a flu shot and vaccines. You know, the flu could, could kill her easily. It's something that we keep up on and we make sure that we get as soon as possible. Mount Home County is a very underserved area. Uh, there are many of the rural poor, they're not very visible, um, and we are the safety net for a lot of people, not just in Montcalm County, multiple counties around. We do provide multiple levels of service here. We have vision uh, as well as the, the medical. We also have dental, and we have a pharmacy program where we can provide pharmacy our pharmaceuticals uh, for the uninsured at uh, fairly low cost. Um, and for the other people, it's just the convenience of being able to come to one stop and get all their health care. It's nice, it's nice to know that there's other people out there that care, that they can make it possible for my kids to stay healthy when otherwise wouldn't be, for Edith to keep up with what she needs to be kept up with. and do all the things that have made her the strong and independent girl that she is, and we owe a lot of that to Cherry Health.